This is a research group out of the University of Michigan in the United States that have been developing a bimodal neural stimulation device for tinnitus. The device that's being developed is going to be stimulating the face, the neck, and the ears all around the same time. So the research so far has uh, suggested that this is going to be beneficial and help manage the symptom of tinnitus. There's a researcher named Susan Shore, who is a PhD, and her group is studying bimodal stimulation for tinnitus to try to create a device that can be released and sold and of benefit to those who have tinnitus. So let's get into this, but before we do, welcome, this is Pure Tinnitus. Hey, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist and founder of puretinnitus.com. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you stay up to date with everything we wanna know about Susan Shore's tinnitus device and the group out of University of Michigan, as well as many other relevant topics for tinnitus. If you've been here before, if you've been following me for a while, give me a thumbs up so I know that you're with me. Now let's get into this device from Susan Shore and her research group at University of Michigan. Let's get an update on this project and see where they're at. This is the University of Michigan Medicine.edu website, and we're looking at the Michigan Tinnitus device. The author here is PhD researcher Susan Shore. This potential device is being developed to improve treatment for patients with tinnitus. Dr. Susan Shore has developed the Michigan Tinnitus Device, which is a novel technology that alleviates tinnitus through a sequence of auditory and somatosensory stimuli to the face or neck. The treatment utilizes a stimulus protocol consisting of precisely timed sounds alternated with weak electrical impulses that activate touch-sensitive nerves. This is aimed to steer damaged nerve cells back to normal activity. This approach is called targeted bimodal auditory somatosensory stimulation and has shown promise in a clinical trial so far, although that data is not available right now. Only early results are available in preclinical models. So very early, nothing's fully released as of now. Um, talks about the competitive advantage of the Michigan tinnitus device compared to uh, other current treatments, touches on the long-term plasticity in the brain and how relevant that is here. And then this specific project is looking at commercialization of this Michigan tinnitus device, uh, submitting for, pre, for FDA approval pretty early on here, but we have some milestones. They're going to develop prototype designs Look at the cost. The Susan Shore lab will develop the software system for treatment management and data collection in collaboration with a local medical device developer. And then the device will undergo validation and verification testing. So the technology aims to remodel neural pathways that cause ringing in the ears. Again, this is stimulating the ears as well as the face and the neck via uh, some, some auditory, some stimulation of the somatosensory, which is the physical touch uh, sense. PDF that we're looking at talks about different solution, the Michigan tinnitus device, the technology, and is describing how it's gonna present sound through the ears and then stimuli, electrical stimuli to the face or the neck. I wanted to show this to you guys. Uh, I know there's been some talk about these different kinds of bimodal stimulation devices out there and which one's going to come to be the best. Uh, certainly, University of Michigan is a well-respected institution, and Susan Shore is a PhD researcher. Well, it seems like this project is in development still, and I'm going to be monitoring it closely so that when it is released or when those signs come, I'll be explaining it here on this YouTube channel. Personally, I feel like a device like this is going to be interesting to compare to Neuromod's linear device, as well as one or two other bimodal stimulation devices for tinnitus. Essentially, what we're, do what we're doing here is we're going to be playing sound through the ears and we're going to be in uh, involving another sense uh, of our physical body. So the nerves on the face, the nerves on the neck is what the University of Michigan uh, seems to be using to stimulate, for, to create this bimodal device. Whereas the linear device, Neuromod's linear device, which I made another video on, 
Neuromont's linear device is focused on the tongue, the trigeminal nerve, and the auditory system. There are going to be some other devices that are focused on areas like around the wrist to provide somatosensory input. So learning how this all shakes out, it seems like we're going to have some competitors in this space of bimodal tinnitus stimulation. So that's good because we'll be able to uh, figure out the pros and the cons of each different device. And we're going to, there may be different inclusion criteria where based on your history, you may be a better suited candidate for one bimodal device compared to another. I'm going to be making some of those kind of comparison videos as we move on here. But I definitely wanted to give an update on Susan Shore's group out of the University of Michigan. I've never been to Michigan. I've heard it's a lovely place. Definitely the university is well known for its football team, but certainly also its academics. It's a type of institution that when a university like that is creating a device for tinnitus, definitely has our attention. It seems like they're being slow with the process, and I'm sure that's just the nature of these kinds of things. So whenever I have new news, I'll be updating it here. How would this device be used to help with your tinnitus? I personally feel like it would complement existing treatments and therapies like hearing aids, sound therapy, counseling, and of course the overall holistic approach of getting your mind and body feeling healthy as possible and how that can have beneficial effects on living with tinnitus. But then to have some sort of technology like bimodal stimulation something that you can use uh, as needed or on a regular basis. That's another tool in the toolkit and potentially get down to the neurological level of tinnitus. I'll be following that closely. Thank you for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. That way YouTube recommends it in the YouTube algorithm to other people watching the video. And leave a comment on this next video. We're going to be talking about some similar devices. Let's get into the Neuromod linear device on this next video. Thank you guys.